Adding displacement in Unreal Engine might seem daunting for some beginners, especially since there is no displacement input in the material node, and you might not even find a displacement map. Don't worry, you're gonna learn everything about displacement in just a few minutes. Let's start by ensuring the modeling plugin is enabled. If it's not, enable it and then restart your engine. Next, switch the mode from selection to modeling. In modeling mode, create a rectangle. Here you can adjust the width and depth as needed, then hit accept. Now navigate to the mesh tab and click on remesh. Increase the triangle count to something like 50,000. Don't worry about performance nanan will assist us. Once done, hit accept. Now let's import the material from Quixel Bridge. Here you'll notice an albedo map, a normal map and an unknown map. Surprisingly, there is no roughness or displacement map. However, if you open the unknown texture map and hide the green and blue channels, in the red channel you'll find the ambient occlusion texture. Switch to the green channel for the roughness texture and the blue channel contains the displacement map. After that, navigate to the deform tab and click on displace change the displacement type from purling noise to texture 2d map now you can add your displacement map by dragging and dropping it since the red channel represents the ambient occlusion change it to the blue channel which contains the displacement data you'll notice the displacement effect working smoothly Adjust the display's intensity to around 3 and hit accept. You may encounter some performance issues. To address this, right click on plane and select browse to assist. Right click on mesh and in nanite enable nanite. This optimization will significantly improve performance.